Greetings, fellow YouTubers, and today we're going to be talking about doing a routine weekly maintenance on an old steam boiler. One of the things it's best to do is to turn on the thermostat uh, before you test it, and a uh, customer is going to do that right now. So go ahead and turn it up to a couple of degrees above the set point. And we should see the little flame icon come on and the burner should be firing. So let's go on downstairs. I'm going to follow you as we go through the procedure. So you just go down. And I think if we listen closely, we can hear the boiler is firing. And what this particular instance We've got the feed of this McDonald Meller number 47.2 shut off for, for reasons we'll go into later. So it is advised that right now we turn that on. And then the customer can go down and um, operate that uh, yellow handle like he has before. And you should listen for the burner to shut off. The burner should shut off, and then that should do it. You hear the click, burner fires on, and the customer can observe the water level, and it's about mid-gauge, and that should be pretty good. So what we did was we've got this gate valve here, and gate valves are not very good, they don't hold very well, uh, but this one we turned almost closed to restrict the flow of the water going into the feeder, because uh, there's an issue in that the water pressure, there's no pressure reducing valve on this water system, so it was tending to blow through there. The feeder is iron body and rust, and it's this crap, fully designed. And so even though this is shut off and we can't hear any water flowing, water will, over the, in the watches of the night, will sneak into the boiler and flood the boiler. So we don't want it to get much below that mark there. And we never want it above here for this reason. Um, this near boiler piping is suck and tends to uh, provide wet steam for the heat, the steam system, um, and so water level is critical to maintain. Not too much, not too little. We want to get the Goldilocks zone. And so that is there. And then the customer is advised to shut that handle off and go upstairs and set the thermostat to the proper setting. And we should hear the burner shut off when that occurs. So the reason why you blow it down is this is iron body. Uh, yeah, it just went off. And is it's designed to concentrate any sludge that forms in there because there's a fluid inside of here. And um, if there's too much rust, the float will hang up and not drop on a drop in water level. And the feed will not, excuse me, the uh, safety switch will not operate properly. There's the safety switch there. It breaks the connection, the electrical connection between this and this. And on the terminal there, yeah. pardon me for a second. There we go. Now we're going to turn this on for a second. Let's see if we can hear the water. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up and see if I can hear the water sneak into the unit here. 
There we are. Watch the water level rise up. And that's one way of adding water. There you hear that. Heard that. And you can, there's the switch lever right there, which operates. There's a little cam that operates that switch. So that's one way of sneaking water into the system uh, because there's no manual bypass. One of many things, uh, come on, focus. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> focus is on out on this thing. What's going on here? Thank you. Um, now I'm going to go over what uh, what is to be checked yearly. Um, of course, the water level, um, the operation of the low water cutoff, and you want to check the pigtail. So we've set this up to check the pigtail fairly easily by taking this gauge off and blowing in here, clearing any stuff that's uh, maybe stuck in this uh, brass pigtail here, and put the gauge back on. We want to make sure that the pressure is set, at, uh, the op operating control for the pressure troll is set at its lowest level. Um, we've got a little sight glass blow down now. We're going to have the customer operate the uh, that little blow down valve there on the sight glass. And that's what, yeah, so I got that cleared out. And that should be done also just to keep that clear. Again, we want to make sure this is shut off for now. Check the pressure uh, relief, make sure it's 15 PSI and clear. Uh, we have a hole drilled for checking uh, flue gas uh, for carbon monoxide. We also put our hand here to feel any blockage or any products of combustion spilling out of here. This air should be entrained in this and not come, uh, hot air uh, products of combustion coming back out. And what we found was, when we took this apart, we found that at the base of the chimney, which was blocking the chimney partially. Yay me. So, yeah, that's not, not a Harford loop. <laughs> uh, there's another shot of this uh, abysmal header there, and it makes it even worse that this is counterflow, which means that when steam is going up this line and condensing and turning back into water, the water is rolling back down right into the path of the oncoming steam. Again, another reason to keep the water level low. Uh, I think I've covered m you know, most of the crazy stuff that's going on here. This boiler is reaching the end of its useful life. And we're going to recommend it get replaced uh, before next heating season. We're going to try to nurse it through this heating season and, 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 and make, it, make it go. Folks, please like and subscribe. Um, Got to push these. Hopefully, YouTube will take mercy on me and uh, <laughs> push this algorithm for, for folks who want to use it uh, for maintaining these 47.2s until their eventual replacement. And hopefully, they'll be banned and um, never uh, bother us again. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next